Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing a demo of Shimpo, which is a bash based navigation tool that I wrote to make jumping to directories just a little bit faster. So in bash, we have tools like CD, pushd, popd, and environment variables. And I personally use a lot of these quite heavily, but there are times when I want to reduce the amount of mental overhead associated with remembering variable names or thinking about how to pop my directory stack just to get to the path that I want. Shimpo is a tool that tries to help out with these sorts of tasks and hopefully speed up the whole navigation process. Before we begin, I want to show how to install Shimpo. It's quite easy. All you do is you clone the repository, which I have here. You run the install script. You select the path that you want to install Shimpo into, and then you source your bash RC. Once you've done that, Shimpo is ready to go. So Shimpo has two functionalities. The first is bookmarking, and the second is relative navigation. So I'm going to start off talking about how to use bookmarks in Shimpo. To do that, I've made a little directory structure in this folder called simple. You can see within simple, there are two folders and within each of those two folders is another two folders. So let's go ahead and just navigate into that. So let's go to some folder, dir1, folder2. To make a bookmark in Shimpo, all you do is you press SB. This adds a bookmark at the location you're at. Let's go back to the demo folder. Now, if we want to jump to that bookmark, all we do is we press SG. This brings up a list of your bookmarks and you just press the number key corresponding to the location that you want to go to. So you don't press anything else. You just press zero and you're at that location. If you already know the number of the bookmark, you can just type SG zero into the command line and it will do the same thing. In addition to SG and SB, if you want to remove a bookmark, you can type SR and this will bring up the same menu. And if you press the number of the bookmark corresponding to the one you want to delete, it will remove it for you. In addition to SR, there's also the SC command for Shimpo clear. This command will clear your bookmark. So let's go ahead and make another one here. If I type SL, you can see that we have that bookmark. But if I type SC, it clears all the bookmarks. And so if I do SL, you can see that there's no bookmarks to be found. So that's Shimpo bookmarking in a nutshell. It's really just mapping locations to the different number keys and making it so that you can quickly press the number key to get to where you want. Next, I'm going to talk about relative navigation. To do that, I've made this little script called make dirs. The script is creating a slightly bigger directory structure than the one that we saw in simple, and we'll be using that as our example. I'm going to go ahead and run that script. You can see now it's created this folder called one. If I do run tree on one, you can see that it's really just a very large nested directory structure. So there are two commands that Shimpo uses for relative navigation. The first is SJ for Shimpo jump. This command allows you to navigate to a parent directory and SD, which stands for Shimpo dive. And this allows you to navigate to a child directory. So I'm going to talk about jumping to a parent directory first. Let's go into folder one. Let's go into some deep ish folder. Let's go to folder five. This is our path. Let's say I wanted to jump back to directory three. If I press SJ, this is now showing all the folders along our path. If I press two, that corresponds to folder three, and that brings me to folder three. Let's go back to folder five. Similarly to SG and SR, if you press SJ two, this will also jump you up two levels into folder three. And so you can see that SJ essentially allows you to jump to any parent directory along your path. One thing I also want to mention is that Shimpo has a pagination feature. So in any situation where you have more than 10 options in your list, you can use the N and P buttons to go to different pages and you can select selections from each of those pages. So that was jumping to a parent directory. Now I'm going to talk about navigating downwards to a child directory. So let's go ahead and use SJ to go back to the demo folder five. To navigate downwards, we use the command SD, which stands for Shimpo dive. If you press SD, it brings up a list of directories in your current folder. And what you can do here is press the number key corresponding to the child directory that you want to navigate to. So if I press zero, if you look at the selected path, you can see that it's added one to the end of the path. If I press zero again, you can see it's added two. So what we're essentially doing here is we are using the number keys to construct a path that we want to navigate to. And then once you have your desired path shown in the selected path, you just press enter to navigate to it. So in this case, let's say I want to go to folder 3.3. .3. I'm going to press three here and you can see there's no more child directories. But if I press enter, I'm now in that directory. So let's go back and let's do this again. So I'm going to go into folder one, two, three. If I wanted to stop here, I can also press enter. But let's say that actually I didn't want to go into folder three and I actually wanted to go into folder one. I've already added two and three to my path and 
restarting it to kind of press all these buttons again would be a little bit annoying. So in this situation, you can press the B button and Shimpo will remove the last directory from the end of your selected path. And so I'm going to hit B twice to get down to folder one. I'm going to press enter. And you can see now I'm actually in folder one. Let's go back to the top directory. So hopefully you can see already that the whole idea behind Shimpo is just to use our number keys to make navigation faster. So let me give you a quick demo of how you can use this thing in action. So here we're in the demo folder. We have these folders. I'm going to do an SB here. Now I'm going to make a couple of bookmarks. I'm going to go into 5.1. I'm going to make a bookmark here. I'm going to SJ back to the Shimpo demo folder. I'm going to now go into the simple folder. Let's go into directory two, four. Let's make a bookmark here. Let's jump back to our demo folder, which is one. Now let's SD into simple again. Let's go into directory one. Let's go into 2.10. Let's make a bookmark here. We'll SG back. Actually, let's use SG to go back to the demo folder. Now, if we look at our bookmarks list, you can see that we have four folders. So I can just do SG zero, SG one, SG two, SG three. And you can see I'm very quickly jumping to these different bookmarks. And of course, we can clear all the bookmarks and then we'll have no bookmarks left. Great, so that's kind of Shimpo in a nutshell. Hopefully this video is helpful. One thing I do want to mention before ending is that Shimpo is purely Bash native. So it's very compatible and very easy to install. It, if you have a machine that runs Bash, which is pretty much most machines these days, you can use Shimpo. And I would encourage you to give it a try. So that's pretty much all I have. Thanks so much for listening and hopefully this application makes your navigation just a little bit faster.